Uh, the orientation is on, it's going to be online if you get approved to work with us. So, uh, and for to get to this plane in Illinois, pick up the truck, you'll be responsible for the travel expenses. So okay. we do not cover the travel expenses. Okay. All you have to do is stay a minute, just take your time. The clock is ticking, so stay. All you have to do is stay. Yes, sir. Uh, what's going on, everybody? Lockout Man back again with another video. Yes, sir. Another podcast for you guys. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show. I am your humble host, Lockout Men. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And in this episode, we're going to be doing the MTC. Yes, sir. The weekly calls that I make to these recruiters for you guys every week. Tune in every week for whoever I call. The way I call people is by your suggestions. So get it in there. Get it in there fast. Get it in there quick. And if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button so that you'll be notified when the calls come. You can hook me up with some coffee. Please do because I am thirsty and I'm not getting, I'm not sponsored for doing none of this right here. You know what I'm saying? All right, hook me up. The Cash App and the Coffee App is in the description below. Well, in today's episode, man, we're going to, we just going to jump right into it because I, I had a, <laughs> I, 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 during the conversation, I just had plenty, plenty of mind blowing uh, experiences during this conversation in this company that we're talking to. So today we're going to talk to, VL Trucking. They're located out of Cedar, Iowa. Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Yes, sir. Let's head over to the bit board and see what uh see what they got to offer for us drivers, man. Uh VL Trucking says that if you're looking for a great career, uh, emphasis on great, I don't know. Maybe after this phone call, you guys probably might have a different might have a different word for the word great. But as of right now, for a great career, let VL Trucking get you on the road to success. Apply to become a company driver today. They says you can make up to 70 cent a mile. But in order to get that 70 cent, you have to have your hazmat and your tankers endorsements. They got great benefits. They uh up to 70 cent a mile. You can make up to a hundred grand, six figures a year with VL trucking. Is that possible? Maybe not as a company driver, maybe as a I don't know, uh lease purchase driver, maybe. Uh, pet friendly passenger policy, flexible home time and professional dispatch safety and maintenance support. And of course, the qualifications over here is, of course, you have to have a CDL with hazmat and tanker endorsements. I was kind of thrown back for a loop because they got reefer trailers. And when I asked her, I was like, wait, you need hazmat and tanker, but you have a reefer. Well, the, the freight that you will be hauling requires hazmat and tankers. No minimum driving experience required. We'll train the right candidate. Hmm. Minimum 23 years old. No background. DUI, DWI in the past five. And minimum three moving violations in the past three. VL Trucking Inc. Man, uh, uh, what do you uh, let's man, let's let's just jump into this phone call, man, so that you guys so that you guys could hear what the company has to offer. VL Trucking, how can I help you? Hey, how's it going? Uh, I can barely hear you. Yes, how can I help you? Okay, there you go. There you go. Hey, how you doing? Um, this this is recruiting, right? Yes, this is recruiting. All right, awesome, awesome. My name is uh LaShawn and I'm a five year uh truck driver. 
I was just calling to see with uh what's this VL VL uh trucking. I'm I'm yep. inter- you know I'm interested in the company and to see what you guys got to offer. Uh we have two positions available right now for company uh, drivers. Uh you have to have the I mean husband and bank endorsement. Uh, we have owner ma'am, of ma'am, hold, hold on, hold on. I I, I I, I'm finding it hard to hear you. Uh, oh, there you go. I don't know. Like, okay, now whatever you just did, that's good. I can hear you better now. There you I go. did not do anything. <laughs> so <laughs> okay, well, no, it, maybe you did something. Well, no, it was it, so. It was that you know it sounded like you was far away from the mic or something like that. That's all. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So we have three positions available right now. For company driver, you must have hazmat and tanker endorsement. We have owner operator lease purchase program. You don't have to have hazmat and tanker endorsement. And we have team drivers also available, and you don't have to have hazmat and tanker endorsement as well. Okay, so uh, I'm I'm on the website. So you guys a tanker company? We're hazmat certified company. Oh, you're a hazmat. You're a hazmat company. So yes, we're okay, but you, but but you guys, you guys look like you guys have reefer trailers, though, right? Yeah, we do have reefer trailers, but some of the hazmat uh, loads are required to have tanker endorsement. Well, okay, that's why so they require. okay, so so I, I I mean I have my you know I have my tankers and my hazmat, but I was just saying, mm-hmm. uh, you know I'm I'm kind of thrown back because I'm I'm looking at the website and. I don't see no tankers, so that's why I'm. No. <laughs> that's why I was kind of like thrown aback. Like, okay, where's the tankers? Okay, but b- basically we're hauling. Well, we're hauling. We need the tankers endorsement to haul For- what's whatever's in the reefer trailer, right? Yes. For okay. The cosmos loads. Okay. Okay. Now you now. Of course, you mentioned tankers, but do we need our hazmat as well? Of course. For company driver, yes. You oh. must have a hazmat and tanker together for company driver. For, oh. every, uh, for uh, the other two positions, you don't have to have hazmat and tanker. Oh, okay. Okay. So for, for me coming on as a company driver, I will need both of them. But if I'm coming on as a as a lease purchase driver, then I don't need I, I don't need the hazmat, but I need my tankers, right? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Um, now VL Trucking, I'm I'm not familiar with the company. Actually, I came by I came by you guys by way of a YouTuber. Uh, he did a YouTube video on you guys. Um, and that's pro- that probably caught my caught my attention. But uh, can you can you give me a brief background of the company? Yes, uh, we're located in this place, Illinois, and as you said, we're a my certified company. Oh, okay, okay. So, all right. So coming up into so coming up into orientation, how would you get me there, and what what and what might I need to bring? Uh, the orientation is uh, it's gonna be online if you get approved to work with us. So uh, and for to get to this plant, Illinois, pick up the truck. You'll be responsible for the travel expenses. So okay. we do not cover the travel expenses. Okay. Well, okay. Let, let me see if I can clarify that because, like I said before, is uh, it's kind of hard to follow you, but I'm I I am doing my best at it. But uh. You you mentioned something about travel expenses is on me, right? You guys, yeah. You you guys don't reimburse me for coming up there or getting me up there. No. Okay. No. What no. about what what about hotel stay in? Uh, y'all y'all don't reimburse for that either. Well, because uh, basically, if you're gonna travel to this place, you know, it would suggest our drivers to fly in the morning. Get here like around like nine o'clock when the office opens, and then you'll be able to pick up the truck. The, we're gonna book a load, and you'll be good to go on the road because everything else, like the uh, orientation, the track test, you'll be doing like uh, I mean, close to your house from home. 
Oh, okay. So Before all so so everything is done. So every so all everything as far as you know, I guess watching videos, learning more about the company, uh, filling out yeah. paperwork and stuff like that is done online. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. So you're gonna finish everything before you come to this plane. So you're gonna come here just to pick up the truck and go on the road. Oh, okay, okay. So what about um? Uh, all right. So what about pre-employment screening though, like for our drug tests and stuff like that? Uh, would we? For be... the drug, yes, the drug test is gonna be scheduled on your area, your zip code area. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And what what might they be taking? My hair or urine? Um. Uh, what the other company were? What did you do with the other company? Uh, well, the company where I'm at did urine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, it's still. But it's still uh, you the know, same. other companies, uh, other companies is doing the hair follicle tests now too. I don't know. We're still doing like the the one that we everybody else. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um. What would be my starting? What would be my starting pay there? What would be my cent per mile there? As a company uh, driver, for a company driver, if you don't no, if for a company driver you cannot be qualified because you don't have a hazmat uh, endorsement. So you either have to be uh, owner operator, or if you have someone to team up with, you can uh, you can join our company if you're approved. Uh, well, no, I no, I have my hazmat. So Oh you have your hazmat, okay. Yeah, yeah. So okay. how how much how much would I be starting as a company driver? Okay. As a company driver with hazmat and tanker endorsement, we pay seventy cents per mile. How but much? But we do not pay for seventy cents per mile. Okay, okay, okay. Seventy cents per mile. Okay. For uh for a driver that has um hazmat and tankers. But for a driver mm -hmm. that don't have the hazmat but does have his tankers then you guys we are not hiring those drivers okay 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 i got you i got you uh are you guys well if you guys starting at 70 cent are, are you guys 1099 or or w2 yes for 1099, 1099. oh you oh you 1099 so you guys so we got to do our own taxes and i'm assuming yes. you guys don't do no benefits no benefits, no paid vacation, no medical. Benefits. Okay, okay, okay. But what about what about other things that's paid to the driver, like breakdown pay, detention pay, layovers? We do not pay. We do not pay layover and detentions. That's why we pay a little bit higher. So seventy cents per mile. I don't think there is any other company that pays right now. So we don't. We. I mean, we want to motivate drivers to drive. So that's why we're not paying layover and detention. Okay, so no layovers, no detention. No detention. What about breakdown, though? I mean, you know, the trucks do occasionally break down. And, I know. mean, uh, we'll try to give you another truck, so we're not gonna keep you with no job. So if something happens, I mean, I mean, we'll, when, I mean, we'll decide what. Oh, okay. But you're not gonna stay with no job. We'll give you a, a, a different truck. Okay. Try. Okay. Uh, all right. So seventy cent a mile. On average, how many how many miles that I that I that I can uh, that I can average a week? I would provide around twenty eight hundred uh, miles. That's average, but it depends on you. What kind of driver you are? If you're on the pick uh, the pickup and deliver on time, uh, if I mean that's the how, I mean it all depends on you. Okay. How you organize your uh, your your driving and your uh, your pay. So you the average twenty eight. You can do more. You can do less. That oh. all depends on you. Okay. Okay. What about uh? What about home time? Um. You guys, you guys run a a full forty eight. Do you guys got regional positions? Uh, no. Right now we have, we run only to all for each state. We're not going to New York City, but we go to New York State. And the home time you have to be on the road at least two three weeks, and then you get two three days off. Okay. Now, is that a full two days off, or just to do my thirty-four? It's a full. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what what equipment that you guys have? Uh, we have Freightliner Cascadia. They're from two thousand seventeen. Um, they're governed at seventy. They have APUs inverters. There is no refrigerator inside. 
but that is a special refrigerator. So basically, it's a bare bones truck. Mm-hmm. Okay. What about a what about a driver camera? Do you guys have that in your trucks? Face outside. Face out. Okay. Not inside. Uh, as far as as far as receiving dispatches and and other stuff, do you guys uh, use our cell phones or do you guys have the have the uh, computers in the truck that that does that? Yes. Yeah, so to communicate with the dispatcher, you're gonna uh, use the cell phone. And inside we have a ELD tablet, and we work with the keep tracking. Oh, okay, so th- as far as the computer for the truck is just the the ELD, but everything else is done over the phone. Yes. Uh, do we get compensated? Yes. Do we get compensated for that? Because you know a lot of a lot of you guys want us to use our cell phones for a lot of reasons, and I, I just feel that you know we we should get compensated for for our cell phone usage so do do you guys oh really yeah no we don't first yeah. time i hear something like that first time no no other drivers ask for some, something yeah, like this I, I mean we pay i mean we pay we pay a cell phone bill every month right i mean you 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 have a cell phone right i mean we we pay yeah. our cell phones bills every every month right and you know technically it's our personal phone but now that we now that a lot of trucking companies is requiring you know the brokers to get a hold of us they want us to download apps on our phones and all like that i i mean i i i mean me personally i kind of feel that we should get compensated for that you know or you guys well, should or you guys should give us a some type of communication. I should maybe come with this kind of question to my manager and ask if she can compensate for myself oh. for using my cell phone. <laughs> I when was, I call <laughs> hey, don't get me wrong. I, I, you know, don't I, get me wrong. I was just no, no, know. no. I'm not. I'm just curious. Hey. I never thought that I can do such a thing. So hey, maybe yeah, I should yeah. come don't up with this wrong. kind I mean, of question. You know, this is this is you know these are just questions that I you know that I mustered up for myself. So that you know I've been in the I, you know I've been trucking for over five years now and. You know, I just want you know, I'm just want to do my due diligence again. Like I said, I came across you guys by way of this YouTuber, and you know, sure. I, you know, I I came across you guys by way of him, and you know, by him talking about the company, you know, I just kind of wanted to get a little bit more insight of the company myself. So, but uh, hey, I do. Yeah, but um, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, but this is a 1099, and at the end of the year, you can like uh, you, you deduct from your uh, taxes. So oh, that's okay. a good thing. Okay, okay, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. We definitely can. You can do put that. it on your list. Okay, yeah, we definitely yeah. could do that. All right. Uh, well, you know, I pre, I, I definitely appreciate you, uh, you know, going over the company with me. So thank you very much. I only have like you know maybe uh one more question. So, uh. My last question deals with, you know, our personal safety out here as far as, you know, going into dangerous cities and stuff like that. What do what do VNL trucking could do for us drivers as far as uh keeping us safe out on the road? Like, you know, do we go How do you protect your drivers from going into high-risk cities? Uh, first of all, you have to protect yourself. You have to, about the like equipment, you have to make sure you do your PTI every day as is required. So make sure like your truck, the tires are like in a good condition because that's, I mean, you, first thing you have to protect yourself. We cannot protect yourself like because we're not with you on the road, yes? Yes. So, but from our side, the dispatcher will be checking like the weather and of course if it's going to be a storm somewhere like the weather is not going to be like uh, good to drive, like, he will advise you to to stop where they will reroute you. They will give you different road, uh, roads, like, I mean, directions to drive, like, to get to the deliver pickup. So he will never push you to drive, like, in a, in a, in a storm, you know, in a winter okay. storm or whatever. Like, they check the weather. So they're, like, they're very professional. So, okay. But as I said, you have, first of all, you have to make sure, like, you, you're safe. You check the truck, the tires. If you need to put the chains or something, you have to, to do all this. Okay, so, cool. You know, awesome. nobody else is going to protect you if you're not going to protect yourself. You exactly. Know? That's the 
the, the situation and with exactly with everything so what, any situation. So what's so what's your guys' policies on firearms then for for drivers? We don't have a policy for such a thing. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, that's all I have. Uh, I, I would definitely take this information and share it in my social media. Uh, hell of a lot better, more information than what I get from this uh, YouTuber. <laughs> so, so thank you very much. Oh, I should get that percentage then. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely. I'm a recruiter. That's my job. So. <laughs> I would definitely network this information with my other trucker buddies as well. So, thank you very much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much for calling the old tracking. If you decide to start with us, and uh, I mean, you have to submit an application. That will be the first step. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice day. VL Trucking, everybody. I I honestly don't know what to say about that particular company right there, man. Uh, the uh, the YouTuber that drives for that company, you know, like I said, sometimes sometimes YouTubers probably might not be the ones to go to as far as to get adequate information about the companies. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you know, you got a lot of YouTubers out here that's saying, oh, well, this company is this and this company is that. Come on, come on, come on. You know, come on to my company and all like that. They basically doing that shit because they want the referral bonus. That's about it, you know. Multi, I mean, social media has became anti-social. Like back in the day, you'll see somebody at the fuel island and you walk up to him and be like, hey, bro. Hey, trucker, what's going on? Hey, uh, what's going on? Are you happy with, are you happy with the company that you're with? Well, what do you mean if I'm happy with the company that I'm with? Are you? happy with the company you're with no um no what, what you got to offer well the company that i'm with is offering such and 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 such here's my car give me a call social media on the other hand is somebody turning on a camera sitting in the driver's seat and saying hey this company is this that and the third why don't you join this company? Because I say this company is this, that, and the third. So now you get like a gang of people that will call up said company and say, hey, uh, trucker such and such, or, or I, this guy on YouTube said that your company is this, that, and the third. And then when you call them and find out that it might not be what you're wanting. But anyway, anyway, VL... Uh, trucking is located. Let's see where they're located at. They're located out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. So the, the, the key points that I, that I got out of this conversation right here is they don't cover you for getting up there. If you want to drive for them, you go online, you fill out the application, you do the orientation online, you do your drug screen wherever you at, you sign your paperwork and all that other good stuff. And then I guess you just bring your social security card, med card, uh, banking information and all that good stuff up there and uh, and they'll get you they'll get you going. They don't reimburse for your way up there and they don't get you up there either. So you got to find your way up there. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You get up there, you take the car back, you jump in the truck, you get your load and you're gone. Uh, you have to, for company drivers only, you have to have your hazmat and your taker endorsements. Uh, if you don't have your hazmat, you have to have your tankers because what they do haul requires tankers. Uh, if you don't have your hazmat, they're not hiring if you don't have your hazmat. Uh, but they do have lease purchase there 
I didn't get into too much detail with their lease purchase program. But if you have your lease purchase program, I mean, lease, you know, you're interested in leasing with them, then you don't have to have your hazmat. So, but uh, VL Trucking, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of that call, though? I, I, I don't know. I mean, as you guys notice, you know, my, my facial expressions during the call was like, I mean, if I could put an emoji here with the brain exploding, it's like, wow. <laughs> uh, one other key point that, um, one other key point that, that she did say is that they don't have no policies on firearms. So that might be a good thing. You know, if you're a CCW carrier and, you know, you carry your firearm for protection. VL Trucking, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. If you guys interested in uh, getting with VL Trucking, give them a call at 847-635-3003. All right. So that is it for this episode of Lockout Men Podcast, the MTC edition. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I really do appreciate it. You guys can support the channel many ways by like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button so you get to know when the call, uh, when the calls come. And also you can hit me up with the Cash App or the coffee app get a brother some coffee you know what i'm saying hook me up man just just hook me up uh if you guys want to have any questions for the recruiters leave it in the comments below if you have any suggestions for me to call leave that in the comments below and until next time check back next week for another episode of lockout men podcast the mtc edition you guys take it easy and i'll come back at y'all with another video Peace.